Hello, it's St. Paul here again. I would like to tell you another of Jesus' parables about a sower this time. There are farmers and gardeners all over the world, so everyone should be able to relate to this story. You might have grown something from seed yourself, perhaps cress or sunflowers. I bet you put the seeds into the soil very carefully, making sure you didn't lose any. Well, when you sow wheat, that is quite different. In Bible times, the farmer would take a basket of seeds and scatter it in the field. As you can find out in the story, he could not always guarantee where the seeds would end up. So, so, so your seeds from Bob Hartman's Rhyming Bible. So, so, so your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? A farmer went to sow his seeds, said Jesus, one fine day. He threw them here, he threw them there, he threw them every way. Now some seeds fell upon the path. They bounced and rolled around, so birds swooped down with hungry cries and swallowed them all down. So, so, so your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? And some seeds fell among the rocks, and then began to sprout, but withered in the shallow soil when the sun came out. So, so, so your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? And some seeds fell among the weeds. They grew there side by side, until the sharp points strangled them, and every seedling died. So, so, so your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow. But some seeds fell on fertile ground and soon began to grow and gave good fruit a hundred times more than what was sown. So, so, so your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? Then Jesus' friends all came to him, questions in their mouths. We're puzzled by your story, just what is it about? The seed stands for God's kingdom, Jesus then explained. The ground is like the human heart, no one's quite the same. Some hearts are like the hardened path, and when they hear God's news, they simply do not understand and walk away confused. And then, my friends, it's just the time the devil comes to play. And much like all those greedy birds, he steals the truth away. Some hearts are like the rocky ground. God's truths take hold at first, but withers up when life gets hard and goes from bad to worse. Some hearts are like the thorny ground, where worries we'd like grow, and choke out peace and choke out joy till all the goodness goes. But some are like the fertile ground, and when God's truth takes root, it grows into a lovely tree, bursting rich with fruit. So, so, so your seeds gently on the ground, which will grow and which will not, and where will fruit be found? So you see, that is what God the sower loves that his words fall in our hearts and produce a wealth of fruit. In my letter to the Galatians, I wrote about this fruit. Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Goodbye for now and I hope to see you soon.